Hedgehog HQ opening day. Which is in Birmingham. Yeah, Solihull. Yeah. Solihull, and they have moved from Redditch. Yeah. So we went to their offices before. Mm. Yeah, no, it's been in. Summer. Yeah, it's been, this has been on the cards what for I think it's about a year and a half, two years they've been um, making this, basically building it, and um, it's been top secret. No one's known about it. Um, obviously, we knew it was going on, but we didn't know um, like the, the interior and, and what they're doing. So um, the office workers went this morning, and then it's the athletes and general people today. So it's going to be uh, pretty insane. Ooh. Guys, seriously, look at this. <laughs> that is incredible, isn't it? This is just like one part of parking for friends and family, so all the workers must be elsewhere. Yeah, this is going to be incredible. Ryan, as usual, is finding <laughs> the furthest parking spot. <laughs> they told us the park will be here. <laughs> so Are you excited? I'm excited to see it, yeah, look at the size of it, it's yeah. huge. Fair play, before we even go in, fair play to Ben Francis. Obviously we've seen his journey from, was it six years, and they're going into six years. And he was out of his mum's conservatory, stitching it all together piece by piece. And then he's just gradually grown and grown, and now look at this thing. And this is just the headquarters. You can't really see from here, but when we walk up to the front. Yeah, and you've got 100,000 we'll square foot warehouse as well as this, so fair play. <laughs> So there she blows the new Gymshot HQ. Explaining the fact we're wearing, we've got sleeping pods for the staff at GSHQ. You can jump in here, it'll vibrate a bit, play some music, whatever else. Cover that over and it'll time you for a nice 20 minute nap. <laughs> That's insane. Shoes cool, or egos on the These are proper dollar mats from the great like you get in the Gracie gyms. So this is just casually in an office. So how many people you got working here now? 150 people working here now. Yeah. When Vodafone had this building, obviously it was very different to this. Yeah. They had something like 600 in here, so it's really, they've got loads of space. You know, that's why we've got some cool things, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. awesome. Very comfortably 150, but by December, I think we're gonna have something like 250, so. Right, you know the TV screen downstairs? There's 3.9 million LEDs in it, right? <laughs> and it weighs, <laughs> you ready for this? Go it on. weighs nine Kylie Minogue's. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a barber room. Uh, Would you believe? In the gym shot HQ, and then yeah, next no, door. Just, uh, say that again for me, please, because you say barber room better than I say it. Go back in and do it. Physio. Physio room. Or massa. Physio room. <laughs> I'm Ben, and I love to make things. And one of those things is gym shot, which I created when I was 19 years old. I'm never getting rid of me now. Brian's been desperate to try out some of the chair. Oh wow. Do what it is for the house. <laughs> yeah, where are you gonna put it? <laughs> Space. We are. Space. I think Ryan is basing all of our house on this office now, is that right? <laughs> Grey, black and white, that's all we need. <laughs> Grey, black and white. Those are your colours, aren't they? What do you think? And I bet they've got pizza. <laughs> Even better. see my pathetic attempt of getting on the train and getting off it uh, the train was absolutely ram-packed um, couldn't get a seat so I slummed it next to the toilets for two hours so that was fun and pongy 
But um, yeah, still got my meals in. Not the most ideal place to uh, eat outside of a toilet, but um, no excuses. Obviously we're growing, we're on off season. Got to get the calories in, got to get my meals in. Uh, so I'm going to be with Team USN. Uh, first real appearance with USN UK uh, since we've been back in the U uh, UK this time around. Um, and I think we've got about 15 interviews lined up tomorrow. We've got four different training sessions with different winners. I'm going to be training and filming and we've got a photo shoot to um, finish it off. Oh, and a meet and greet as well. And then off to LA. So I'm going to be going to LA on Tuesday, uh, which is two days from now, Sunday night. And uh, we're going to go with the Gymshark team this time. And we're going to be doing something very, very spectacular. I'm not sure if I can, I can just tell you it's going to be absolute class and it just shows where Jim Shark's heading and how far they've uh, come. So I'm going to leave it on that one. Good morning world. Right, breakfast time, then off to work. It's very early here in London. I'm very tired, but all good. Let's get to work. Halfway through the day, and it has been one hell of a day so far. One hell of a morning. It's been really, really busy. Um, I have been actually useless and not filmed any of it because um, I got carried away with meeting people. Um, a lot of people made the effort to, to travel down. The guys came from Portugal, um, France. So massive thank you to you guys for coming down. I really appreciate it. How do you zoom in? <laughs> what a day that has been uh, absolutely crazy I think in total I did 15 interviews um, like the Daily Star uh, Telegraph um, Unilab Men's Health Men's Fitness uh, Muslim Fitness um, just, to, just to name a few but it's been absolutely crazy I've enjoyed it met some new people had a meet and greet at Holland and Barrett um, got to train about four times although I had no meals so that wasn't great, um, but yeah, it's about 10 o'clock here in London and I've just caught the underground all the way to Heathrow, as you can hear, I've got my bag in hand, um, it's pretty hectic, there's the airport, I'm on a bridge, I'm going to find my hotel and get some much needed rest because I'm meeting the Gymshark team very early in the morning, my flight's at it's half eight, so we've got to be up extra early. Obviously, it's an international flight, which means we've got to be there three hours before. Um, but looking forward to it. I couldn't resist showing you just before I go to bed. Oh, it's in aid of going back to America. Obviously, in America, cheeseburgers are on every cor cor corner, every corner of every street. So. I thought I'd get in the uh, spirit now and get the calories in. I've missed quite a few meals today because I've been that busy. So getting rumping, rumping? Oh, I need to go to bed. Ramping the calories up, uh, ready for a big day of traveling tomorrow. Good night, guys. I will see you at the airport bright and early. Good morning. As you can see, uh, a very tired. Bit of a croaky voice because of yesterday's antics, but all good. I haven't even seen outside yet. Yeah, so it's still dark. It's very early, I think it's five o'clock here. So we landed here in LA uh, after a ten and a half hour flight. Um, it was pretty good. There's a few drunken people on there which uh, just added to the entertainment. But we've got all the Gymshark crew in the background. Uh, we're now going to go pick up a car and I'm going to head to uh, the villa that I've rented for a few days and then we're going to get down to Gold's to hit a session. So it's 12 p.m. here in uh, LA and we did check into a house but something went wrong and we've had to change uh, last minute. But what an upgrade, I'm gonna take you through. Got a barbecue area, and the whole of downtown LA. What a view. It's been a long day traveling, ready to get some sleep, 
We're looking forward to seeing this in the daylight. In early here in LA, and today we are shooting down at Gold's Gym with Mike O'Hearn, uh, Charles Glass, myself, uh, Mel, and Karina. So, Gymshark and the uh, old school um, Gold's Gym athletes and we're doing this big collaboration and I'm really looking forward to it. I think Mike O'Hearn and Charles Glass are going to teach me a thing or two. Um, pretty jet lagged from yesterday, quite tired, but how can you be uh, Marty when you've got this kind of view? We're going to be shooting with Nomak who is a well-known photographer and we're going to be uh, trying to replicate the old 70s, 80s style golden era bodybuilding shots. So uh, they're going to be quite cool, quite quirky, getting the old converse back out, those stringer vests. Um, me on off season is probably not going to look great in a stringer's vest, but we'll make the best of it. Turn. Into the ribcage, turn. There you go. 